What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views. Hey, one more time. I kind of burped into the Oh, my God. I thought it was a fart. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that if you pull your butt cheeks apart, you, you don't smell the fart or you don't hear the fart? If you pull the butt cheeks apart. Yeah. What? Yeah, I think so. It, if you pull them apart, you don't hear the fart. Yes. Is it's that the, true? Yeah, of course. Yeah, because it doesn't vibrate. Are you fucking serious? Do you want to go try it out? No, then it's literally just air passing through. Air doesn't make sound. Is it? Whew. No, because like Zane, when the he vibration. farts, he'll spread his legs out. And he'll be spreading his ass cheeks, but it'll still make some solid sound. But he's not spreading his ass cheeks. He's just spreading his legs. So did you just fart or did you burp? <laughs> Moral of the story, I just burped. I'm really sorry. All right, whatever. Let's just roll the intro music. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to the podcast. I'm David. That's my friend Jason. Natalie's here. Carly's here. There's a bunch of people here. Natalie, I want to start by saying this. Dude, I've been trying to get Natalie to like come out of her room like... Five times a day. Oh, yeah, God. you said that she she sneaks off in there. She, when dude, stuff's she going fucking on. leaves and she goes, give me five minutes, and she'll literally leave for an hour and a half. Okay. <laughs> Natalie, admit that you do this. Like, sometimes, because I really have to get stuff done, and you just suck me in with all, like, your stuff, then I have to do stuff independently. My stuff is your stuff. I know, but, like, sometimes you you just make me sit there and do things. Like, I'm just literally watching your screen over your shoulder. I'm not actually, like, I know which is doing something in part, but, like, there's so many other important things I need to prioritize. Okay, well, regardless, the other day I was like, <laughs> Natalie, what are you doing? And and I think she was pooping. Okay. And I, really, are you serious right now? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing? Well, I, this isn't the story. Well, this is <laughs> pretty. Just, but I was like, Natalie, what are you doing? And Natalie's mom came out, and she goes, "I think she's pooping." Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! And then a couple hours later, like eight hours later, I go, Natalie. <laughs> and then I go turn to Natalie's mom. I'm like, "Is she pooping again?" <sighs> and she goes, "Well, I've actually been wanting to talk to you about this." She told me to not say when she. Oh pooping. my god! <laughs> she That's goes. So rude. She goes. I've been trying. I want to talk to you about this. She told me not to tell you. Why would she say I need to talk to you about this after I told her to literally shut her mouth? Yeah, she told me. She goes. She goes. Hey, um, I, I can't tell you anymore when Natalie's pooping. So I'm just gonna pretend like she's changing right now. And I'm like, but she's pooping, isn't she? And what? she goes, Yes, she is pooping. <laughs> oh my god, my mom. Your mother outed you out, and you pooped twice in one day. I don't think I did. Honestly, sometimes I just go in there because I know you can't come in. <laughs> oh, I'm going to start coming in there. No. <laughs> I used to do that when I was married. I used to just go sit in the bathroom. You used to just, really? Mm. That's dark. Yeah. You used to, to just poop? Just to be like, because I knew like. That's what this she has couldn't, come to. She couldn't knock on the door. I always there. thought the bathroom is such an interesting place because when I used to like sit at dinner with my parents or whatever uh -huh. and like like they would be, they'd get so mad. They'd be like, fucking stay here until everybody's fucking done eating. But when I said I had to use the bathroom uh -huh. or like I had to pee or something. Uh -huh. No one would ever look at me yeah. like in an evil way. Everyone was like, yeah, that's normal. Go for it. Get out of here. Go pee. It was so weird. Sure. Like they, they would try everything to keep me at the table. But then when I go, can I use the bathroom? They go, okay, go for it. <laughs> like it's like the bathroom's like the safety spot where everyone's agreed that like it is like your, like your dojo. Yeah. Like no one's allowed to enter it. And like it's like. <laughs> it's your dojo. <laughs> it's your dojo, you know? Yeah. I gotta go to the bathroom right now, actually. Oh, you can't go. Oh, I'll follow you in there with the podcast okay. equipment. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with your son? Oh, I was, um, he's had this project to do since Christmas and he hasn't been doing it. And that was one of the reasons why he got grounded or whatever. And so then finally, Sunday night, he, all Sunday, all day, he was working on this song for school. And Marty was like, you gotta go talk to him. Like, he's been in there for like six hours and he, he's, he comes out and he says it's not right. And, uh, and you gotta go talk to him. I'm like, okay, okay. So I go talk to him. I'm like, it was like 9.30. I'm like, you gotta get this done. You gotta, you gotta get this done. I said, no one cares. No one fucking cares. You said that? Yeah, I said, no one cares if it's perfect. All it has to be is three minutes about whatever book you're reading. That's it. And even Charlie, my daughter, was like, Wyatt, you could have just written six paragraphs and been done with this three weeks ago. Yeah. He's like, no, 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 I gotta make this song. I gotta make this song. So I'm like, all right, so put it, get, it, get it done. Put it on the thumb drive and that's it. Go to sleep, 10 o'clock. I don't care if it's done or not. He's like, okay, okay, okay. And then as I was leaving, I was like, what's the song about? And he goes, oh, um, the Holocaust, <laughs> like that. And I was like, oh, my God. No. Yeah. So then I went home, and I went to sleep. And then at 1130 at night, he's like, he sent me the lyrics and the song. And I'm like, it's dark in my bed. So this is what I hear. This is him singing the Holocaust song. Yeah. This is for his school project. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you mean like in David's face right now? Just to know that you're ready for clean mother. I see your bloodstains, gas flames, please get. 
Okay, hold on. Really it's heavy. Actually it's actually pretty good. good. Yeah. It's, like yeah, a, it's, it's pretty good. good. It's like I, the Arctic Monkeys. If yeah. the 21 Pilots came out with this, they <laughs> got away with writing a Holocaust song. But we've been yelling at him for weeks. Wait, that was really good. It's pretty good, right? Wait, wait, wait. Let's I can't hear believe David likes your son now. Okay, here we go. Hold on. So much you can compensate, please only the situation that we're facing Cause it's pretty simple, there's no dimples, only pistols that they're firing Constantly got wires inside the Can you stop this? Wait, this is Wyatt's voice? Yeah. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, what the oh fuck? Faces came the ghettos and then the falls happiness, but now we're all just beaten in head. I don't wanna go home. It's five minutes and thirty seven seconds, by the way. Yeah. Okay, I won't play anymore. Could have been wait, what the fuck? You know, you're yelling at a kid. To just, oh, to... they got me working like a slave. Oh, the number on my arms, my only name. Oh, I'm tired of this thing. I'm a stand up, but I'm just another Jew ready for cleanup. <laughs> what the hell's going on here, and dog? It's not like it was a music class. He could have written a paper. That was ridiculous. Yeah. That's I don't know if I should if you should call somebody or uh, you I should know, be proud. I don't know whether to be scared or impressed. yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to. Re <laughs> if my son showed up with this, I'd be like, okay. My mom and I were like scared by it. We were like, whoa, like this is kind of. Heavy. Imagine he performs it for you on the computer just, or uh, on like like on a piano. He's just bawling his eyes out. <laughs> you're just like you're 11. Uh, you weren't there. How the fuck are you even feeling all these things? That that was. I don't know. I don't know what to think of that. I mean, that was great. It's very impressive. Yeah, I know he did a good job. God, I'm looking at Jason's text messages to his son right now, and there's literally just like scrolling a novel of just heart emojis. You have to, <laughs> you have to scroll through Wait, all the see. hearts. Let me read your text. I have oh no one God. in my life, so I'm jealous. Let me read them. Let me read these texts. Give me the phone. I'll, I'll find them. Jason left him a voice message. Then his son said, thank you so much. Miss you. Good night. Love you. Then Jason said, go to bed. Love you too. See you tomorrow. Congrats. You're on your way. I love the way you sing. So many <laughs> things about the song. I'll tell you tomorrow. We'll go through it. Are these all separate messages? These are all separate messages, and they all have oh they all have seventeen heart emojis in between them. Shut up! No, I'm being serious. Do you ever think you're just a little? Look at this! Look at this! I mean, you can't see it on the oh podcast. My god. Oh my god! But, but they don't even speak in English. They just send each other hearts. David's mom is here. She's crying. She's never had a relationship like this. <laughs> hey, you have three more kids. Don't fuck those up. <laughs> yeah, Toby might be a good candidate. Did you ever write a song for school, David? Um, no. Have you ever written a song? Um, yeah, I probably fucked around with the garage band. Oh, like with lyrics? Yeah, even for fun, like a funny song or... Oh, uh, no, I don't think so. Never? No. Mm. That was a pretty deep song, man. That really got me out of the mood out of this podcast. I'm sorry. But good for him. Yeah, it was, it was a lot. It was a lot for me to get at 11 o'clock at night. And it kept me up. I was like lying in my bed like, oh my God. Wait, was the project about the Holocaust or was it just write a song about anything? <laughs> no, it was about the book, The Night. Oh, okay. So, so the he book had to was read about a the book. Holocaust. Yeah. You know who's a fun, you know who's a fun singer is Natalie. Yeah, Natalie oh. loves to sing. I love when she I sings. I love singing. Should yeah. I sing us all a ballad right now? Yeah. Yeah, us. sure. I really love to sing. Oh my God, I fucking hate you. Wait, that was so genuine. <laughs> like, yeah, the way she said she it. She was like, wait, like, I really love to sing. I really love to sing. I it do. I, I'm like, I really love singing. Are you oh. good at it, actually? No, not at all. Like, if you're by yourself in the car, you're like, oh, I suck. <laughs> are you like, well, I think I sound great, but I, I actually don't. Do you, have you ever recorded yourself singing and then you yeah. listen and you're like, damn it. 100%. I, yeah. 100%. I like, I'll sing to the, like, I'll have the music on in the car and I'll sing to it and I'll be like, okay, I actually kind of think I got this one. And so I'll like put my, turn on my voice memos and I'll record <laughs> my the voice. Same thing. Wait, really? And then, yeah, yeah. And then I'll turn the music down and <laughs> should we pull up my voice memos? <laughs> so if I sing, Wait, you have wait you've done that before? I do it often. I, I'm telling you, I genuinely love singing. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Gosh. I didn't know this was serious. Let's get her in the booth with Charlie Booth. Oh, so wait. You, you wait. record yourself in your voice memos singing and then you listen to it? Like for like, it's like a twenty second sure. part of the song because then I realize so you'll listen to a song and you'll be singing along. And you're like, wow, I really got this chorus down. Like it, it, it feels, I do that too. Like it feels yeah. like I'm hitting these harmonies. You've never recorded yourself to see if you sounded good. Never. That's what? I thought. That's literally everybody did that. What? Yeah. When we sang no. the other night, there was like a couple Instagram stories where we did karaoke, and I went to look at it, and the next day I listened to it like ten times. This one story just to hear if I was like in key at all. <laughs> did you so sound funny. good? I mean, no. I recorded with Charlie once. I got in the studio, oh, and he, God, and, and he let don't me even tell me that, and he let me sing a little bit, and then I heard my voice back. But that was the only time like that I was like, it. It was horrible. <laughs> but what he does is he'll like layer my voice, so he'll make it actually sound good. Really? Oh, that's yeah. So sick. 
Oh, I wish we could do that. that. Wait, well, Natalie, play Drop us an a album, vo- Nat. Natalie, play us a voice memo. I'm so yeah. confused. Let me see if I have one. I'm a survivor. I'm not going to take it. She plays the wrong voice memo. It's just her crying about her job. <laughs> <laughs> and then he told me. <laughs> okay, my just, mom told him I pooped. My mom <laughs> told him I shit to twice therapist. a day. <laughs> and I told her to cover my ass. No pun intended. Okay, wait, I want to just- it's labeled Castle on the Hill, so I think it's Ed Sheeran. Wow, you fucking <laughs> label your song? That's Natal. a tough song to sing. Natalie, you're take, a freak. I didn't one. know you label them. <laughs> no, I don't do. Castle one. on the Hill, 7 p.m., just had brunch. I think this is the one. In parentheses, show this one to the agent <laughs> first. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Go, play it. Oh, my God. Go, go, play it. No, play it for all of us to hear at the same time. And hold the mic up to it. David, it's so bad. Wait, let me wait. Let, let, let me hold it because you're gonna you're gonna pull it away. Okay, Give me. Castle, Castle, oh my God. God. Natalie, you're literally so brave. Okay, I could never do this. Okay, here it is. This is this is Castle on the Hill. Turn the volume all the way up. Make sure it's all the way up. Okay, it's, this one's a 13 second one right here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is really brutal. This is Castle. This is Castle on the Hill. <laughs> I like the accent. <laughs> my English Holy accent. Castle. <laughs> Not the castle. That, that castle. Like that. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> okay, don't listen to more because I don't know what's on there. I want this to be my ringtone. Just... <laughs> um, Natalie's calling. Come on. That's funny. We should have Aaron walk down the aisle to that. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> what, what else is there besides that? <laughs> Let me see if I'm That's it. No, no, give me, give me. Is better so you just you just sang one line from the song and recorded yourself? I'm, I don't know or what I was do doing. More this was 2017, song. Jason. I was a whole, you know, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> no, She's wilding out. Oh, I thought you did this last week. No, that one was all last week. Guys, our next ad is Pepsi Cola. Pepsi Cola has always been a Dave, pro- before you read this, we, we have an email from the people at Pepsi. Oh, do they like my last ad read? They liked your read oh. last week, and it just said some they, – they're, they're happy, and they're great people at Pepsi. Some feedback from Pepsi on the last read. <laughs> they were definitely pleased – with it, but ask that you guys refrain from swearing during the read. Oh, okay. I believe David said Pepsi, adjective, <laughs> cola. Not a big deal, just an ask moving forward. So we do apologize, Pepsi, for David's foul mouth. Pepsi. But he's just so excited about your product. I'm sorry I swear, but when I have a Pepsi, <laughs> that's what it makes me feel like. Well, you can celebrate out loud when your team scores a touchdown, even if the whole stadium hears you. Let me just break it down for everybody. Break it down. If you're going to drink anything, sure. anything at all, Water, whatever. You're a sporting event, right? You're a tennis player, number one in the world. What do you What do you drink during the changeover? Uh, Pepsi. Pe- duh. Yeah. Pepsi, because there's no other. There's no situation where there's any drink better than Pepsi. You know what? Pepsi's great. When? At the movie theater. Oh, don't get me started. With popcorn. Pepsi and popcorn. I like putting in the popcorn, yeah. and then I like pretending that the popcorn's a village, and I'm a volcano <laughs> with the Pepsi, and I'm just flooding the whole village. Oh, that's great. Yeah. What else is good with Pepsi? Anything's good with Pepsi. Guys, with the new year officially here and everyone vowing to restrictive resolutions, Pepsi wants to usher in the new decade a bit differently. But I encourage everyone to unapologetically do what they enjoy. Thank you, Pepsi, for giving us the ability to read this ad however now you we either, want. You either won them over with this ad read <laughs> yeah. or, or we're never going to hear from Pepsi we're again. We're never going to hear from Pepsi. I, I do want to hear from Pepsi because I, 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 do, I do really love them. I remember time at home, they only had Pepsi products and that was the life. Oh, down at the retirement home. Yeah, I used to work at a retirement home. Even old people like Pepsi. Everyone, everyone. Mm-hmm. Well, that's all I have to say about Pepsi. Thank you for coming <laughs> on. So our friend Todd uh, kind of has like a crush on Natalie. We don't really know what's going on, but he texts la- Natalie late at night, like all these things, like I miss you, I can't wait to hang out with you, stuff like that. And the texts kind of just pile up, and it's pretty embarrassing uh, when he sees them in the morning. <laughs> so what we did is we took the text and we put them on a billboard next to a picture of him, and we surprised him with the billboard. And he actually took it pretty well. I think he was kind of happy about just being on a billboard in general. Yeah, yeah I don't thought know. it was funny. He thought it was funny, which I was yeah. surprised about. And then, and then there was like some news places that picked up the story. Yeah, Fox Five picked it up from like DC, mm-hmm. and it was like, and there was here. I have a clip. One of the women was talking about it. This is her talking about the billboard. All right, a YouTuber printed out his friend's drunken, inappropriate text and put it up on a billboard. David Dobrik setting up his friend Tony Smith, all in an effort to teach him a lesson. Smith had been texting thirsty things to Dobrik's assistant when he was drunk, like, can we please cuddle tomorrow? And you break my heart. 
to Dover, printed them out, put them on a Hollywood billboard along with Smith's picture, and then revealed it to his friend on camera. Now, Dobrik is known for calling out his friends in public ways, uh, but is this a little too public? And that's the, you know, he, right. he's doing it for... All right. I, the only reason I don't like it is because it's staged and contrived, and that's, the, you know, he, right. he's doing it for clicks for his YouTube exactly. page, and yeah. that to me is just, I'm done. Bye. Yeah, yeah I just, yeah, all those... Those YouTube people, which look, it's it's very lucrative. I mean, there's some YouTube mm -hmm. uh, artists, or I watch a lot of makeup tutorials. They make a lot oh my of gosh. money. Absolutely. Jeffrey Star flies on his own private planes. He has <laughs> his own business. So I, I don't want to knock anyone's hustle, but when it's these types that just want the self, real self promotion right. and just like you said, more clicks. Like it's not, they're not yeah. really enriching the community. What I'm curious like is, that. is did this assistant, did did she feel? Did she, you know, did she feel offended by this? Was she okay? Uh, <laughs> well, we have her right here. It, it literally, it literally. Reporting live yeah. on site, Natalie ha Murray. Like half of that, the second half of that felt like aliens were talking about like YouTube. Like just the way they approached it just made no sense to me. Yeah. Like yeah. how they were like, oh, they're just doing it for clicks, which is already so weird from a new for a news station to be saying because they're a news station and the whole thing is based on clicks, which isn't really even what the videos are about. Like they're, they're videos – just like any episodic series would be, there are episodes, and this one has, like, this one had the funny button of the billboard, and it made no sense what she said, and just listening to it, like, was so, so, so incredibly confusing to me. Yeah, she got confused, too, because she said he's doing it for promotion. Was she talking about you or Todd? Yeah, that didn't make and it, sense. And she got totally mixed up in what she was saying. But Natalie, were you offended? Um, no, not at all. <laughs> no, I bought the fucking billboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely encouraged it. That's ridiculous. Yeah, they yeah. do that. They're the ones. They do the same thing. Right. But that's not even the same thing. They're they do stuff for clicks. Like it's like it, the whole thing is just so. It's such an out of touch way to look at anything. Right. Like the, the way she went about it, I was so confused. Tesla stock was at an all time high the other day. Great, great news. I remember. I remember in the podcast. I I used to talk about my Tesla stock because I bought a million dollars of it for fun. Not for fun, but I wanted to see. Like, I wanted to buy more so I could make money quicker. Uh -huh. But I panicked because the day after I bought it, it dropped and I lost like eighty thousand dollars. Right. Um. So then I waited for it to come back up, and the second it was where I bought it at, I sold it. So I only made about six thousand dollars, which is horrible right. because I put down a million. So there's a lot to lose. Um. And then the the day after I sold it, it actually went up. Uh, like 80,000. So I would have made 80,000 if I held it for another day. Right. But recently, Tesla stock has gone up so much that if I held on to it, or better yet, if I bought it um, a couple months ago in June, I think, if I bought it, um, and I bought a million dollars worth of Tesla stock and I sold it two days ago, I would have, have made a total of $4.8 million. Wow. God. So if you held on to it for two years. Isn't that fuck what? So if you'd held on it for two years. No, if you held on to it for, I told you, since June. If I bought Tesla stock in June. Right. And then I sold it, I would have made $4.8 million. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's nuts. Why'd you sell it? Why didn't you hold on to it? I got scared. It went, it's gone up that much. It, it, Tesla stock is fucking crazy. And, and I sold it and I only made 6000 But whatever. Oh, I know. But the interesting thing that you said was, um, I said to David, I go, well, why didn't you tell us all to buy it? You know, like even put in like $25,000 or put in a small amount. And you made a really good point, which was when it when it got to. When it got even, if to, it, Jason said like, why didn't you tell me to buy in June? I was like, okay, I tell you to buy it in June. And then if, if it went up, it went up $2,000, you would have sold. Yeah. There's no way you would have held on to it for this long where, and you would have sold at the exact right moment where you would have made $4 million. That's how I look at it. Wow. But that that is, it's crazy to think about that it's gone up that much. And it's crazy that like. I don't play the stock game at all because the second I put in a million dollars into stock, like that's all that's all I was thinking about. My mind was consumed with the thought of this stock. Like I would check it literally every every two minutes. I would be checking the stock, uh -huh. which is ridiculous. I have investments, but nothing as like aggressive as a million dollars on Tesla. Um, but yeah, but it's crazy that that's like some people's live, like they're, they're, it's their lives. Like they live by that, uh -huh. like how the stocks are doing. It's an interesting game. Well, we went to the movies last night, didn't we, Dave? It was a tough decision. It was tough to get everybody out of the house. David likes to get everybody riled up and go to a place called iPick. That's his favorite place in the world. It's the best. But unfortunately, David doesn't know how to pick movies. Yeah, okay. I may have picked a movie that wasn't up to par, but I, I, I prefaced it with, hey, guys, I only want to go to iPick because they have really good Buffalo Spring Rolls. I don't really care about the movie. After I eat the Spring Rolls, I'm down to leave. It's $32 a ticket. <laughs> Very expensive. <laughs> to but, go. Plus, but, plus the food. 
Yes. Plus the food. It's super expensive, but this is like me treating myself. Like this is me going like like this is like me going to steak dinner. Like that's how I love IPIC. Okay. So yeah, we got there, we ate. Movie wasn't too good. No, was not. Yeah, so we got up and laughed right after the food. And we don't need out. to say what movie it was. No. But what we do need to say is you need to reevaluate what a good movie is. Yeah. Because once again, you fucked us all. Oh yeah, and it was so funny because because we got up to leave the movie theater and Jason didn't come with us there. He met us there. Yeah. But I didn't know he made it. So I left. That's and, what I was really mad about. And as I was leaving the parking garage, I get a text from Jason. <laughs> Yo, did you leave? <laughs> <laughs> and as we're all in the car, all eight of us are in the car. And I'm like, uh, yeah, we're heading out. Were you there? And he was like, yeah, I was sitting right fucking behind you. And <laughs> Am I, I like, watching this shit by myself right now? <laughs> yeah. The movie, this awful movie that you made me go see. Also, it's at 1045 at night is when you want to go. Yeah, and you then always Jason, ask me. Jason went into the bathroom to send me voice notes. He's like, I'm in the bathroom right now. You have fucking lost all movie privileges. You are never deciding what movie we're seeing ever again. As I'm, you know, 40 minutes away, already halfway to my house. I felt bad. Yeah, that was fine. If you guys are ever trying to come up with a website or build a website on your own, where well, you guys should go to squarespace.com slash views for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code views to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Guys, Squarespace is great because you can create a beautiful website to showcase your work, blog or publish content, sell products and services of all kinds. Jay, you use Squarespace, right? Of course I do. You're going to help You're gonna help build Squarespace to auction off one of your kids, I heard, because there's too many in your house. Yeah, that's right. They're for sale. And the, one. there's no better way to create beautiful templates by world-class designers than Squarespace. They have a built-in search engine optimization, free and secure hosting, nothing to patch or upgrade ever, and 24-7 award-winning customer support. You can make it stand out and make it yourself easily. Create a website all on your own. You ready to start your new business? Make it stand out. Get started with Squarespace. That's squarespace.com slash views for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the... Last night, Natalie and I went to like a like an Oscars type of party for sure. for the agency that I'm with. Um, right when we walk in, there was this kid there, and he was like, oh, yeah. he was very very nervous to to, to meet me. Um, and I, I don't know, I I honestly thought it was a prank because the way he came up to me, he was like, hi, oh my god, like it was like he was like shaking like out of a movie person who really really likes quirky, somebody. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, he was a little bit dorky. And he's like, how are you? Hi. And, and, and he was very nervous as he was talking. And at the end of the conversation, he turns to Natalie and he goes, oh, and, 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 this, is your, and this is your husband. <laughs> as he's pointing to Natalie. I was like, no, she's my assistant. <laughs> what? Yeah, he was so nervous. He so called nervous. Natalie my husband. Um, how old was he? I don't know. He must have been like 14. Yeah, he was, he was 14 younger. or 15. <laughs> What'd you say? And I, we just laughed, and I was like, wow, I went from assistant to I self-proclaim myself partner, and now I'm his husband. So, really funny. You know, I'm really going places. But you uh, had a suit and tie on, though, right? No, not at all. I had a dress <laughs> okay. on. Like, my hair was down and curled, makeup fully done. Like, yeah, and that was just I was trying to be the most beautiful woman I could possibly be. And, it, so and I was like, oh, look at this man you're with. <laughs> Who's horrible. this handsome gentleman? This must be your husband. <laughs> this is the worst thing he could say. Yeah, it is. Then um, there was uh, Adam Sandler was there, and as you know, I'm a big fan. Sure. So I had my friend introduce me to him. I never know what to say to these people, but like it just fucking clicked as soon as I shook his hand. I was like, click, no pun intended. I was like, I love Fifty First Dates. Yeah. And and, I, and he goes, what? Oh, and he, he he like laughed. He was like, really? Like because because I think he just he just got done filming Uncut Gems, oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, which yeah. is like a life changing role for him. <laughs> So I think it was pretty like out of character for, or pretty out of context for someone to come and be like, 50 First Dates is my favorite. <laughs> right, right, right. Especially at this Oscar party where everyone's like analyzing like their, you know, their incredible acting and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so I told him, I was like, yeah, my friend and I had an argument about it on our podcast for 35 minutes about whether or not it was the best movie of all time. <laughs> <laughs> and what did he say? He just laughed. He, he ate he, it up. Yeah. yeah. Did he think it was the best movie of all time? N I should have asked him. Should have asked him. Fuck. Did, do you think it was the best movie of all time? <laughs> Yeah. What if he was like, I do. I do. I do. I, I'm, I'm really glad that you, you see it the same way. Oh, that's great. All right, guys. My mom is here. She doesn't want to be on the podcast, but she's sitting right next to me. So I'm going to, I'm going to perfectly describe her reactions to things I say. We're going to talk about her for the okay. next two minutes. All right. I moved out of my parents' house. Let me just first, first of all say how happy I was. Right now, she's kind of smiling, kind of embarrassed. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, no, I'm happy I moved out for sure. Were my parents good parents? You know. Uh, Who's better parent, me or your, your dad? Um, <laughs> that's tough. You guys are both good, but like in your own way, right? Yeah, like who would I rather have as a dad? Yeah, probably my dad. 
Oh, that's nice. Yeah, but because because I w- I would have turned out differently <laughs> if my dad sent me as many hearts as you send yours. <laughs> if my dad sent me a single emoji as a kid. I would have turned out differently. Maybe he'd write a beautiful song about the Holocaust. (laughs) I don't know if that's what I want my dad doing, or that's what I want me doing. What what else is your mom? You know, your mom thinks you're really funny. By the way, people should know that she has this pattern with you, where she, like, if I go visit you in Chicago or she comes here, she has this pattern where she's frustrated, 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 and then she's like also dying laughing. I know, dude. And then frustrated. My parents do this thing where they're like, they're always mad about something and, and they always like want to talk about something and it never has a resolution ever, ever. They'll just like, they'll, they'll be like, we need to talk to you. And then I'll sit down. And, and then the first 10 minutes of the conversation will be about why I never sit down and conversate with them. So they're already wasting their time there. And then, and then, and then she'll start talking about something like, you need to take more time. And like, my dad always talks about meditation. That's something he brings up all the time. He goes, are you finding time for yourself? <laughs> and like, it makes me want to blow my fucking brains out. Yeah. Like, the, like my mom will go like, you need to go see a therapist. And I'm never more stressed out or just like, just angry than when I am around them. That is the most stress that comes. She said, I never said it today. You literally said, (laughs) she's saying that she's never said that I need to see a therapist. You've said it multiple times. You made me get on the phone with a therapist. Uh, I mean, listen, if I was to go back and change like my parents' uh, parenting methods, I I wouldn't, right? Because because then I would be somewhere totally different now. But do I think it like, do I think it works the best way? Probably not. Probably not. Our our friend Jonas here, he's a big fan of Nathan Fielder. Uh, Nathan Fielder has a show called Nathan For You. And I don't know where it is, but it's a really funny show. He's a really Ooh, funny Comedy dude. Central. Hulu, Comedy Central. Bottom Everything. line, it's funny, and Jonah's a big fan. Yeah. Um, and we were at the movies one day, and we were walking into the theater, and Nathan Fielder is coming out, and he's, he's <laughs> walking home. He just saw a movie. It's, it's pretty late. It's like 9 o'clock. <laughs> he's going home. And Jonah goes, oh, my God, that's fucking Nathan Fielder. <laughs> and I go, yeah, it is. And then I, I don't think I even had time to react. Sure. But but all of a sudden Jonah goes, oh yo, I'm gonna go picture my movie. I'm gonna go picture my movie, and I go, no, no, you fucking idiot. And he goes, no, this is the chance. This is the time for me to do, go do it. And and I was like, okay. And Jonah fucking runs. And Nathan Fielder's walking down the like the steps. It's like a long staircase, and he stops him right in the middle of the staircase. And he goes, hey, can I tell you about my movie? And I, and at this point, I walked away. And I, I knew they were talking for like they were talking for like a solid two minutes. What did you tell him? I started stuttering really, really bad. No, what did you say? Be honest. I walked up to him and I pitched him an idea. You pitched him an idea. Well, for, well, for what? It was a movie idea. It was a fucking movie idea. Well, and the thing is, Jonah hasn't finished this movie yet, but he's like working on this movie in his head. No, I have. And, and, I have what, a script. and what did he say? Huh? No. Yeah. What did what, how did he respond? I, I asked him how I can get in contact with him, and he said he doesn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> did he really just say I don't want to? I don't remember what it was, but he he said he was not interested. Right. Yeah. It's the worst <laughs> place to find somebody. Yeah. Just to pitch him. I was like, and I I melted, dude. I really did. And, and then I Jonah knew- came back, and he's like, I pitched to my movie, <laughs> and I was like, You did fucking what? Like that's the one thing you're not supposed to do in LA is go up to a celebrity and pitch him a movie. Like that's right. crazy. And, and and he was like, What? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? And we were just like, We, were, we thought he was kidding. We thought he was fucking with us. We're like, you're fucking with us, right, Jonah? He goes, no, no, no. Why? Should I have not done that? And I was like, no. And this isn't the first time Jonah's done something like that. Uh, Jonah's a huge fan of Judd Apatow, like yeah. huge. And Jonah found out that Judd Apatow was handing out like hot dogs in Indiana, like at Indiana, at Indiana <laughs> University. Yeah, he yep. was. Judd Apatow was like handing them out, maybe like for a promo for some movie. And Jonah calls me frantically, like his fucking mother's been kidnapped. And and he goes, yo, Judd Apatow, right now he's handing out hot dogs. <laughs> uh, he's in Indiana. Do you think there's any? chance if i get on a flight right now with him i can get him for five minutes when i get there yeah. and i go probably not and he goes you don't think if i get on a flight right now i could talk to him for five minutes and pitch him an idea it could literally fucking change my life <laughs> and i was like first of all jonah i don't think judd apatow has ever been further away from you than this moment of him being in indiana the dude lives in la maybe 20 <laughs> minutes away from you yes, so I, I don't know why it's when he's in indiana all of a sudden you have the urge to fly and meet him there <laughs> it made no sense and then second of all definitely don't go up to him in any circumstance and pitch him a fucking movie i would never do that again i would never because i don't know i was just i was just so silly i don't know why I that did was that. crazy it's like the it's like people hate that people hate that no i know i understand i yeah i would i wouldn't do that. i melted like with the nathan fielder one you were really nervous but it was kind of cute because it was like like an endearing like he really liked him but he just kind of fucked up i've met nathan fielder and i i feel like uh he would like you no he, he, he didn't like me nathan fielder <laughs> no he would like you 
He would like you. He if, would like you if you didn't come up to him and pitch him a movie. Yeah, that's all. Like if he got to know you, because you're really funny. Yeah. But like that just wasn't he the would right. Think you were funny. It wasn't the I, right circumstance. I, Good but, news is he probably won't remember that situation because it happens to him so much, okay. so often, where someone comes up to him sure. and pitches Look, him a movie. Looking back at it, after we left, I got in my car and a tear fell down my cheek, and I'm like, "Oh man," I'm like, "It's okay. It's okay. You'll, you'll forget about it." Like, yeah. I was so embarrassed for months after that. I don't know why I was so embarrassed. It was weird. You're fine. It's a. I couldn't lesson. like. I couldn't like forget about it. Now people come forget. up to you and ask you if you can be in their movie, right? I've been pitched a few times. <laughs> yeah. Not even kidding. I have, but like it's it's such a stupid thing for me to do. It was so dumb of me. I couldn't forget about it for months after that because I felt so embarrassed of myself, so ashamed of myself. But I'm like, ah, oh, whatever, dude. Just Jody used to it. be really different when he when he we first started hanging out with them. He would be like, "Fucking, you guys doing YouTube and your dumbass thumbnails," and he used to shit on YouTubers all the time. No, I don't, I. I because <laughs> you know you wanted to be a serious actor or a funny actor. I mean, especially nowadays in this industry, it's not gonna it's not gonna work out. As I don't know, no, it'll work. See, out. like traditional acting is so dead almost. Yeah. We're like, I'd rather create my own shit on on like traditional on, acting online so platforms. Dead. No, no, it's it like think about it, dude. Okay. Think about TV shows and shit back in the day. Poor, movies, poor DiCaprio, just out of a job. Well, he's right. There's less of it. There's, like there's less, less of it. Yeah, yeah, it's not that. But there's I get less what of it. he's saying. But, it's but there's more not. TV shows. David, you know what? Jonah's given you so much humor over the years. Why don't you throw him three compliments right now on the podcast and let, let him feel good? No, no. This is, I, can, I can give you compliments. I, I miss you a lot when you're not around. Yeah, when we were in New York. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, my God. He made Natalie and I feel like shit because every five minutes he goes, wish Jonah was here. Wish Jonah was here. Really? And finally, Natalie was like, hey, what the hell? We're yeah, here. Natalie was pissed that I was bringing you up so much. Really? I actually think you're really funny. And I think you're perfect for, like, New York because it's, like, so out of your element that it's just, like, any situation. Like, every time we, like, drove by, like, a shop or, like, a restaurant or, like, a donut store, I would be like, man. I'd just be imagining, like, you sitting next to me. (laughs) And we're just, like, we're smiling, feeding each other sprinkle cupcakes. My favorite is when you make make the same joke with with whatever situation we're in. Like, we'll be by the Empire State Building, and I'll be like, wow, that's a crazy building. And... Jonah will go, <laughs> imagine I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I do, like, I do make like, a lot of eating jokes. Wherever we are, like, like, like we could be like literally standing right by the ocean. Like, imagine I swallow all of this. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, joke, the joke works for any situation. <laughs> yeah, those are the jokes I miss. Really funny. You remember that day I was telling you to leave my house? Yeah. Remember the day I was like pushing you out? Yeah. I've like I've caught it so many times where you like try to hide me away from like yeah like important people pe- important people yeah because I, I like I don't know I understand I don't have a filter sometimes I yeah you're very things. hit or miss a, a person could r- really love you and you could be the best part or you could be like the worst part yeah I know I know yeah I it's like know. really hit or miss you're right this next segment of the podcast is called Joe Sini Winnie Podcast it's where we give our editor friend 25 seconds to say and do whatever he does in return for editing the podcast Joe hit it you got 25 seconds woo what's up weenies welcome back to another beautiful week here in sunny California and I flew out one of the hottest guests in Chicago we have David's mom fuck <laughs> How are you? Hi. Don't be shy. I know. You wanted to be on the Teeny Weeny for so long. Yeah, yeah, I'm very happy to be here. How are you? How was your flight? Oh, that's it. Stop. Oh, come on. I have so many questions. That's it. That's it. That was amazing. Do you like David more than me? Thank you for ha- oh, thank God. you for having my mom on the podcast. <laughs> she refuses to be on our podcast, but for some reason, Joe kind of found a way around that and booked her for a show. So that's, thank you. How did you manage to book David's mom? That was really incredible. She's been a big fan of my dog for the past few months. Okay. So Sad Bob. Bobby. Yeah. She Check Sad Bobby out on Instagram. It's you a know, dog that looks sad. You, you know what's really funny? David's mom is actually watches all of our stuff. I had a really funny moment with your parents when I was in Chicago. I, we were sitting there and uh, you were upstairs and I just said, I said to both of them, I said, I said, wow, it must be so amazing that, what do you think about David? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was really, I think I was like kind of loopy from flying. Yeah. Who says that? <laughs> I know. And then, and then I think, I think Paula said something like, yes, but, but. For for how long? <laughs> <laughs> but 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 why? <laughs> but he's she, too. You know, it was like I was trying to get him just to be like, yeah, it's amazing, you know. But he was like, but no, no, he wouldn't concede. Yeah. He's like, but we worry about him, <laughs> and and he he worries too much about the edit, you know. Sometimes it's done. He goes, enough. You don't have to keep trying and editing. Sure. 
I mean, I can't remember what Christina said. She's right here, so I can't make it up. <laughs> <laughs> like I just made up what your dad said. <laughs> Best part is after I had that really awkward conversation with, with, with David's parents, David came down from upstairs, like wet head, all showered. <laughs> and he walks in and he goes, yo, Jay, my parents are trying to steal clout from me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yo, he's trying to take my clout. Look at these two. <laughs> His dad sitting in like bike shorts and just like just watching TV. Clout? Quietly. What's clout? All right, guys. Well, that's all the time we have for today's podcast. Thank you guys for listening. It's been a views podcast. Go check out David's merch. It's how he pays for his house. Go check out all the merches. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram. I'm trying to get to 20 million on Instagram. That's my new goal. Um, we'll see you guys later. This has been a views podcast. My name's Jeff. Bye. Views.